All right, this is going to be a video covering the uh, features and functionality of the Phoenix Pack. If you're not already familiar with the Phoenix Pack, the uh, <clears throat> Phoenix Pack is called the Phoenix Pack because it is a uh, a rebuilt version of an older pack that was uh, badly damaged by UPS. Um, and the idea behind this pack was to build a enhanced uh, basically game pack that would feature some of the uh, functionality shown in the uh, video game such as uh, simulated steam venting and uh, ejecting rods in the cyclotron and uh, an ejecting bumper. Um, for the most part it's a standard pack uh, the uh, normal elements of the pack have just been redone in machined aluminum. There's a few embellishments uh, that uh, were added to it, such as the uh, the uh, aluminum frame around the power cell window, uh, the uh, light on the side right there, which was really something that was taken from the old pack. I just redid the housing in aluminum. Uh, the plasma disc on the HGA which is uh, was also borrowed from the old pack. thought it was kind of a neat thing and uh, I just redid the HGA in aluminum to be consistent with the rest of the aluminum parts on the pack. Um, only alteration to the shell itself was down in the cyclotron area where I I closed in the uh, end filter. It was broken off, and uh, the idea originally was to do a tilting end filter, um, which I will implement on this one eventually, probably before Halloween. Uh, I closed in all of the holes on the cyclotron because I had to uh, relocate the uh, positions of where the cyclotron lights would be to be uh, compatible with the uh, rod eject mechanism. Uh, the bumper was slightly altered. I, I narrowed the center portion of it just a little bit to get the rods, ejecting rods, better clearance. Um, for the most part, uh, I left everything else alone because I didn't want to change the pack that much. Now, as far as the enhancements go, um, also, I added the, uh, the upper vent, which is copied from the game. Um, basically, it's what I gleaned from the game and uh, got it as close as I could. It's probably about 90% accurate. The same thing with the cage light right next to it. Um, down below, you have a little gauge cluster and uh, that was my idea to add some real functionality it's something that really uh, is used to set the, the uh, set the the uh, regulator pressure for the pneumatic system and, and be able to monitor it too uh, the, the one on the left is uh, monitors the pressure in aerosol cans and the one on the right uh, monitors the pressure coming out of the R701 uh, clippered, clippered uh, pressure regulator valve which I put to use on this pack. Seemed fitting since it was part of the original pack to put it to use. Um, made it kind of interesting. Um, as you can see everything is, is basically the, the uh, same parts on a, a standard pack just be done in aluminum uh, the uh, the hose that connects between the gear box and uh, they call it the uh, synchronous generator um, I decided to depart from using a split loom which I really don't like and uh, do something that looked a little more uh, better uh, <laughs> Um, <clears throat> basically it's just a foam core covered in a nylon mesh jacket 
um, the same as uh, the uh, throw umbilical. In fact, uh, I put uh, machined aluminum ends on it just to make it look a little nicer. And uh, besides that, I really haven't changed too much on it. Uh, it the idea of it, behind putting aluminum parts like this I like the contrast contrasting uh, colors which shows the features better and it also makes it look more like a real precision instrument that would be uh, capable of doing the things that it's supposed to do now uh, <clears throat> the gun which I'm going to take off to show it to you put it over here you can see that a gun um, is a uh, MMM style gun not really like the one in an original pack it's got a different barrel um, basically I just took the gun stripped it down kept the body and the grips and then remade everything else in aluminum um, Basically, I just kind of winged it as far as the the uh, the uh, dimensions of the parts on the barrel. I just did what I thought looked good. Um, the barrel is uh, unique. I cut vents in the side of the tube, and that's so uh, that you can see the the glow of the uh, internal plasma tube. It has a spiral type uh, plasma tube that lights up when you uh, fire it. I had that thing in my closet probably for over a decade before I finally found a good use for it. Um, <clears throat> as far as the, the body goes, I did a little bit of work on it. It was kind of out of square so I kind of put it on my milling machine and straightened it out a little bit. I put a, uh, a real Clippert R701 valve on it just to make it look a little more realistic. I uh, redid all of the other little parts in aluminum. Um, I made a uh, an aluminum housing for the uh, LED bar graph. Uh, the heat sink is just a uh, extruded aluminum. And uh, on the bottom, the uh, the track on the bottom actually I didn't make. That's some <clears throat> someone else did. It's a CNC machined uh, part. I just uh, finished it, and uh, but I did make the uh, the gun mount itself. Now the part here on the uh, on the shell is a uh, machine from a blocker. 60 uh, 61 aluminum you could probably hang hang a uh, motorbike off of it but uh for the most part that's the features the gun i redid the the top vent in aluminum because the uh, original vent holes were so screwed up i just decided to cut them out and uh, replace it with a piece of aluminum and it makes it look a little better but um <clears throat> Other features uh, that I improved on were uh, the hose. Hose can actually swivel, so it doesn't knot up when you're moving around with the, the gun, and when you got to put it back in the holster, you don't have to twist the gun around any particular way to get the kinks out of the hose. Uh, the hose itself, or the, uh, the umbilical, is uh, like I said, the same construction as the hose between the uh, syn synchronous generator and the gearbox, but this also features a uh, internal EL wire which uh, lights up when you fire and uh, and uh, looks kind of neat. Now let me uh, turn the pack on right quick and uh, give you an idea what this looks like. It's lit up. All right, there's the power switch, and uh, you can see you can see the EL wire cycling. And when you fire, it flashes. 
right? But uh, now the functionality of the buttons on the gun is this front button is used to control the uh, colors of the cyclotron lights. The time you press it, it changes to a different color. It'll do a uh, total of seven colors. We'll go through all of them. to the standard red and also if you uh, if you hold it it activates the theme song that's in theme song mode and if you hit the fire button right here that deactivates it. Now, uh, the second switch right here, I call it the auxiliary switch, just turns on the internal light and also turns on the uh, uh, cold cathode sidebar light. I put that on the, on the uh, switch because it draws about five or six watts of power, so I figured It'd be a good option to be able to turn it off, if, especially if you want to conserve power and still keep the, the pack on. Um, <clears throat> now, when you fire it, I'm going to show you the barrel, what it looks like when it's firing. You can see the internal, the uh, internal bite. I don't think anybody's thought of doing that so far but uh, those uh, spiral light tubes are kind of hard to find I think you can still get them in blue pink and maybe green but the uh, tri-colored ones I haven't been able to find I haven't seen them in years in fact, I'm sure maybe somebody's got them uh, probably in Europe or China or something like that uh, now, you can go over to the pack, look at some of the lights a little closer, as you can see the end filters lit up. Um, I also put a internal light in the, uh, the booster tube, just because I thought it would look neat. And, uh, as you can see the see the plasma disc that's another neat feature and the little lights on the uh, gauge cluster little custom display I built for it and uh, for the most part that's it um, right now I'm still uh, working on a few improvements this is still a work in progress it's it works really well, but it uh, it's really not user friendly. It has to be disassembled to replace the aerosol cans. In the future, I intend on putting a, a hatch on the top to allow them to be taken through the top of the thing without having to uh, hassle with taking it apart. The pack's very heavy. It's it's kind of hard to handle because of that, and uh, having to take the back off is really a big issue with it. So I'm uh, work on doing that. I'm also working on the uh, finishing the design for the, for the uh, tilting end filter and it's a couple of the little things I'm working out but uh, I'll keep you posted on the progress of that stuff but uh, I guess I've just about covered everything in my next video, I'm going to do a, a uh, uh, cover all of the, the functionality, like the venting and you know that stuff, so you can see how that, that works. But uh, until next video, bye.